AC. My last case opened in me a new fear, a real fear, a fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. Robert, this had better be good. What's the beef? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any Victor. He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the locals scared. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I better check out this crazy gang of yours. Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. Try to stay calm! You better hurry, Jack. He's on his way! For Christ's sake, Jack, go! That's simple strength. 
Looks almost like a flaming eye. I should take a closer look. Better keep my distance from the window, or I'll end up like this nut job. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. Ah. We've been expecting you, Mr. Walt. Damn. He recognized me. And it sounded like he was going to get on the level with what's going on in this joint. A key. Could come in handy. He's dead. Looks like a bad case of lead poisoning. Poisoning by the looks of it. He's dead. They're all dead. Suicide. Or rather, mass suicide. These nuts had some serious issues. It's too dark to be sure. But that rotting smell tells me these shelves are used for storing food. It looks like an eye, but the rest of the painting has no real shape. This blasphemous image makes me feel uneasy. A powerful painting of some cosmic horror. As I continue to translate the necotic fragments, I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. I know now just how insignificant mankind is in the universe, a doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the Elder Things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. It's unlocked. I don't understand. I'm in all of these photos. All of them. There must be some kind of mistake. Why would they want me here? Uh, it must be an old case. Something I've forgotten. Some screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. I've gotta think. All these photos and clippings are of me. I just don't get it. From the dates on some of these clippings, this crazed mob must have been following me for years. Jesus, I'm a detective and I had no idea. Another key. It's unlocked. It appears to be a private study area. The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. The symbols on the front seem to be written in classical Greek. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room.
that's just swell. He's dead. The beam must have fallen and crushed his skull. Medical charts on the human anatomy. This sink would be used for scrubbing up. From the markings, he must have been one of their own. I wonder if he volunteered. From the look of the corpse, he must have died a few weeks back. Dead bodies, and plenty of them. Something dreadful has been going on down here. In all my time on the job, I've never seen anything like this before. Good God! What the hell is all this? Looks like his brain. I wonder what those wires are for. Ah! It's too hot to pick up. His beating heart. Oh, shit! machine must have overloaded. He's dead. His brain stopped moving. The crystal's still warm. I've never seen equipment like this before. This tunnel feels like it's gonna collapse at any moment. too hot to touch. I think it's being used as a power source for the machine. What the hell is that? It looks like something's been removed from it. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it, probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. 
As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told no else. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Uh, did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Um, uh, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Part of the stop. Almost there. I'll drop you at the town square of Innsmouth. Why lock the gates? Keeps out wanderers looking for work. You know what those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after her own. to the line. Could you direct me to the First National Grocery Store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, Bella. The First National is a large chain. You sure you haven't seen it? I'm sure. Stop bothering me with questions.
Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> Hello again. Yeah? I'm after directions to the First National Grocery Store. And I'm busy, so stop your pestering me with questions. Hello, Gilman. What do you want now? Strange thing about that Burnham lad. Burnham? Kent rightly says I know what you're talking about. That's odd. He was all over the Arkham Press. Must have been a bit of a local scandal. Them's matters for the police, stranger. Innsmouth's not a town for rumoring and talking. How's business? Can't you see I'm busy? Stop bothering me with your talking. Sorry. Hey, I'm plenty sure you are. He's not gonna be any help, and only a crazy fool would spend the night. Stop your snooping. And there's for hotel staff only. I'm looking for Brian Burke. Please, stop bothering me, stranger. Outsiders coming, snooping around with what they wanted. Excuse me, Constable. Jack Walters. Ah, uh, ropes. Alien ropes. What do you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No, not at all. I'm after directions to the First National. I hear they have a store in town. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. What happened here, Constable? Nothing. Oh, swell. You can let me pass then? No. You'll have to go another way. Constable Ropes. What you after now? You ever meet Brian Burnham? I couldn't rightly say as eyes I remember. The burglarizing of the First National is big news in the Arkham Press. The Burnham lad must be one of your prime suspects. Any luck tracing his whereabouts? No. That'd be a matter for the Order. The Order? Isn't this a matter for the police? Yup. That too. Who is the Order? Them's that look after affairs there at Innsmouth. And you'd mind your business not to be asking too many questions. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Sorry, stranger. I can't help you. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Please, stop bothering me, stranger. If I see you talking to the outsider, you'll get thrown in jail. I told him not this town's deserted. Where is everybody? If you don't like it, just turn around and leave. Evening. Uh, the name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss... 
Miss will do for now. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Take my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight, this port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, Miss, I can handle lousy hospitality. Very well, Mr. Walters. Hello again. Mr. Walters. Look, Miss, I only want a conversation. There's no harm in that, right? There's plenty of harm. It's not wise to be seen gossiping with outsiders. How about playing dumb for a few minutes? No. Can you at least tell me if you knew the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Look here, Mr. Walters. I can't answer your questions, and your harassment is putting us both in danger. Please, leave me alone. In danger? From whom? The Order. Now go! She isn't going to tell me anything useful right now. Oh God, some poor soul's hung herself. Why the hell hasn't she been taken down? A storage cellar for one of the stores. A standard gasoline pump. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Ken Riley says I know him. It's just an advertisement for the local Methodist church. With a good wind piping early in the Solomon's Gallant Mass. Ah, my boys, these are the joys of the noble and the brave, who love a life in the tempest strife, in the home of the mountain wave. When the driving rain of the hurricane puts the lights of the lighthouse out, and the growling thunder sounds his gong, and the whirlwinds battle out. <laughs> Who's that there? Who oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name. Though too few years it now. Zadok Allen! Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a young'un. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? You just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. If you pardon my asking, have you lived here in this port all your life? Less thirty-seven years in old lady Warren's house. Before that, over by a fishing canary. Can canary! Old lady Warren's house? Go and fetch me a bottle of something to wet old Zidok's whistle, and I'll tell you all. What can you tell me about Innsmouth? <laughs> Just fetch me a bottle of fine liquor, young fella, and I'll tell you all. The old drunkard knows something. I don't think it would take much to get his tongue wagging.
Evening, Constable. Curses, I am busy. No time for fucking strangers. I'm Detective Jack Walters. I've been hired by the regional manager of the First National. And I'm Constable Burke, and I'm the law around these parts, and I'm still not talking to you. Now get off. Move along, outsider. If you could just answer a couple of questions. I already told you once. Get lost before I have you arrested. What the hell for? Disrupting the peace. I just want to know if you have any leads on the Burnham lad. Nope, but I'm reckoning he's fled to Boston. Plenty of his type that way. His type? Troublemakers. Dems not respecting the law. There's no proof he did anything wrong. If he had the keys, why break into his own store? Just details. A missing manager in a robbed store makes him guilty by my reckoning. What's with the police cordons? I don't see that as being any concern of yours. Look, Constable, I used to be on the force a long time ago. I was the best there was working a crime scene. Well, your point? If you could let me have a look, just for a minute, I might be able to help. Perhaps even get you a lead on this Burnham crook. Well, no, that does not be right. It's unlocked. If I want a decent snoop around, I'd better do something to block that door. Assorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. The till's empty. The glass has been broken, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Strange. Why would Brian force entry when he had a set of keys? Stock reminders and general notices. Nothing of interest. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. Looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues.
the cellars filled with human remains. These people must have died a long time ago. The window is smashed, and I can see the back alley. There are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier lying here, and they're dated 1846. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. in here. This noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. The poor woman must have taken her own life. The doors bolted shut. Nothing of interest here. Jack? Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay, maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. Tell him anything. Fight. Where can I find this Thomas Waite? Dark Street. Back in old lady Orrin's house. In my home. Psst, mister. You just bring old Zayduck a bottle of something nice and... And old Zayduck will fill your ears. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young fella. Here'll be a little something of gratitude that may help you in your search. <laughs> now you be calling me crazy. Like them that's the rumor in an anchor in Lipswitch. 
But oh, Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was... Mm. <sighs> Old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that would answer their prayer. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, uh, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open, mounds of the dead and the dying, <gasps> shooting, and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for them. Sadok. Who did all this? Who did all? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Ovid told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. Aye, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see, for definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Where did Captain Obed Marsh learn of these heathen matters? In war and foreign parts, the old fool I lent to ways of making gains Doing even things. He found a tribe of Kanuckies in the South Seas led by a savage. Chief went by a name of Walakea. And his tribe never went without food. For they had all the fish they could catch. Old Obed learned from his Walakea that these things on this earth as most folks never heard about. Seems these Kanuckies was worshipped in undersea gods with heaps of human sacrifices and other heathen things. But they was getting all kinds of favors in return. Plenty of fishing and even gold now and then. Human sacrifices? Maybe you've had just a bit too much. <clears throat> I don't blame you for not believing it, young fella. But just answer me this. Why did Captain Obed roll out to the reef of Satan and chant a lot of rites and incantations in the dead of night so loud you could hear them all over the port? He cast something in the water that eve, out the other side of Devil's Reef. Some kind of thingamajig crafted out of lead. It was given to him by Wallachia. So, what happened? Well, not long after that smoke started coming after the chimneys at the old gold refinery, the Marsh family and those that had shined with Obed in his ways started prospering in the esoteric order of Dagon came into being with his Ethan Sermon. Sermon. That shit they do. What kinds of ceremonies? Mm. Yeah. Get out of here, lad. Don't wait for nothing. They'll know now. Um. 
I think he's had his fill for the night. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you gonna even tell me your name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly. We don't have much time. You've got to follow me. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange? Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. I'm looking for Brian Brown. Chad Riley says I know him. If I see you without fire, I'll report your order. I'll not say nothing. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Please stop bothering me, stranger. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. I can't be seen talking to you. Do you need any help? Disease is rampant in this town. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. It's getting late, outsider. Folks that know what's good for them are safely bolted in their homes by It's house. the entrance to the town poorhouse. Since old Lady Warren's passed away, the food is rotten, but we'll die soon enough. What are you looking at there, old-timer? Nothing. I'm just looking. What you doing in old Warren's house, young feller? This hole is for the broke and the dying. I'm trying to find Dock Street. It's out back of the house. Everything in Innsmouth is rotten and dying. Windows boarded up. And all sorts of curious barking and crawling around black cellars and attic. How would you like to be living in a town like this, fella? I've been to more welcoming places. I don't think he's been outdoors for years. He isn't gonna know anything. That Zadok Allen tells some wild tales. Aye, Zadok's a troublemaker, I tell you. If you weren't such a drunken old fool, the order have sorted him out before now. Innsmouth must have an intriguing past. Innsmouth's a historic town, stranger. Plenty of history here.
This almshouse is home to the old and the destitute. These beds reek of sweat and urine. Her sleep is restless and erratic. The old woman's dead. She must have kicked it a week back, or more. There's no sign of a struggle, or any external injuries. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. I reckon you might have scared them off with that ugly face of yours. Ah. This town's deserted. Where is everybody? It's getting late, outsider. Folks says no what's good for them are safely bolted in their homes by now. Jesus, those people have been ripped apart. Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work and Mommy's upstairs. In the attic. She's been bad. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your mommy for me? Nope. Mommy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love mommy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayon. That would be great. Thanks. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of Mommy and Daddy. A house plant. It's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. I can only see Thomas and Ramona Waits in the picture. It won't open.
Looks like a diary. Last thing I loved away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was copped by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with a crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combination's in my diary, upstairs. Hurry, Jack! What the hell's in the safe, anyway? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter. His own flesh and blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends must we handle things by the old ways. It's Ramona's coloring book. Did you hear about Thomas Waits? I heard when they caught him, he was kicked in the blood. Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police dragged Waite's off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah. I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. Before they could drag him off, Tom Waits gave me the key to the variety store. If you're going to snoop around in there, be careful. It's just off the main square. There's a back way down a flight of stairs. He told me to protect whatever's in the safe, to get it out of town. Rebecca, I saw the oddest tramp, just by the poorhouse. He wore old shawls over his head, but jeez. The skin on his arms and hands were, I don't know, tainted in some way. The poor wretch. It's the Innsmouth curse, and probably the latter stages of it. 
This curse, plague, or whatever you call it, is it some form of leprosy? I fear not. Lepers at least have the salvation of death upon them. Before they could drag him off, Tom Waits gave me the key to the variety store. If you're going to snoop around in there, be careful. It's just off the main square. There's a back way down a flight of stairs. He told me to protect whatever's in the safe, to get it out of town. You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. And considering your recent break in and entering, how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No, and I really don't care. My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. <laughs> I'm from out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth. The rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to Rowley. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me. Yes, that's it. The safe holds a heavily bound manuscript. The front is embossed with the words, Book of Dagon. Reckon she were ripped open, Joe. I don't reckon Tom would have the strength for that sort of killing. I ain't got much time for talking, Charlie. I got instructions from the order to make certain the outsider doesn't leave tonight. Would that be the strange fella you brought into Innsmouth a couple hours back? Yeah. <laughs> I'm reckoning on him asking for lodging here this evening. Do you have board for the night? We've plenty on the top floor of the house. Nice views over the town, I'm told. Great. That, that sounds just swell. Hey, uh, you all right there, sir? Starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Face as white as bone and eyes as black as coal. Like you'd seen a ghost or something. I'm fine, thanks. It's just the sea air around these parts. It makes me queasy. The Innsmouth's breeze is not for your outsiders. Charlotte, can you come with me? I need to be telling you something. Perfectly. Excuse me, sir. The Innsmouth Law doesn't like to be kept hanging about. 
I'll be right back with you shortly. It's the key to the back office. It's unlocked. The rug is caked in dried up blood and guts. There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. What in God's name has been happening in this place? The hatchet is encrusted with blood. I'm not touching it. I wonder what secrets this book holds. If you just follow me, sir, I'll show you to your lodgings. I heard there was a killing over at the old Waits house tonight. They reckon the old fool killed his own daughter. Caked head to toe in her blood, they says, and had to be dragged away, screaming and crying. I reckon there'll be a lynching for what he done. Still looking pallid, sir. You're needing to have yourself some rest. Sleep well, and keep down the racket. Us Innsmouth are quiet folk. I just don't feel safe going to sleep yet. The room's cold enough without opening the window. Better. Not exactly safe, but the best I'm gonna get in this infernal town. City of Nakotas. Rest now, Jack. You are safe. What was in the light, Jack? Where do you want to go? We are your history, Jack, and your future. I don't understand. You will in time. Human. Where have you put the outsider? Top of the house. Room 401. Come on, let's have him. Curses! 
It's locked. Probably bolted on the other side. He's awake in there. I can hear him moving about. Break the door down, you damn fool! Hurry up! Quick! I see him head. Check the door. Your friend is dead. Jesus Christ, no! You're a fool, Willie. I told you it wasn't safe in there. Look, fella, I know you're upset, but I really need some help. Ah, you're the outsider they're hunting tonight. You don't have a hope, stranger. The Order's mob will be everywhere you turn. Down the sewers is the only place that them folks balk at venturing. And for good cause at that, mind you. I can cope with foul air. It'll be a change from the stink of dead fish. You're not getting my meaning, stranger. There's rumor of real horrors in the black dankness beneath these streets. Maybe the folk with the taint are devils. But at least they're devils of this earth. You ever hear tell of a shaggoth, stranger? Just tell me where I can get into the sewers. Alright. You've been warned. Just the other side of this here building is a road leading down to the filtration plant. There's an open sewer pit down there. Good luck, stranger. He died recently. The body's still warm. I'm not so sure this was one of my better ideas. He's in the truck!
Hello? No, wait! Is all this stuff? What am I doing here? Ah, shit! It's corrosive! She's following me. I can feel her. She's. There's something down here. His skin's been corroded from his body. He must have died in agony. The tank's full of slimy water. There's no way I'm getting in. is this place? It's like some sort of mass grave. Poor wretches. Their remains left to rot in this hellish pit. He's going to me.
Jack, you're alive. Thank God. Just barely. The Order has got half this blasted town on my heels. I warned you, Jack. I told you the Order wouldn't stand- Save it, sweetheart. You found anything more on Brian? He never made it out of town. The Order has him holed up in the old jailhouse until he's needed. Needed? Needed for what? Sacrifice, Jack. To Dagon. They'll take him out to Devil's Reef, and he'll never be seen again. Dagon? Sacrifice? This is crazy talk. Innsmouth's old fishing tales have muddled your mind. But... Mm, I don't want another death on my conscience. Where's this jailhouse? It's out the back of the Merchant's Bank, just past the old water tower. We'd better keep off the streets. The tainted are roaming everywhere. There's a secret crypt under the church that leads out to someplace safe. We can use that. My father built it when he was minister. Okay, get your father and let's go. I can't. I mean, he wouldn't pledge himself to Dagon. He called it blasphemy. The Order found him and... and... Jeez. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Did your father ever show you how to get into this crypt? No, but he gave me this. I think it'll help. to leave now. <gasps> the church is this way. Come out! Me. We know you're in there. I God, pray. help us. We'll have to make a run for it. It's we'll all need now. You. We'll be protected I'm inside. Follow me, Jack. No! Take him down! Come on now! We'll not gut the gals, carcass! Uh. Outsider, there's no way out of there. It's the minister of the church. He's been hung up and disemboweled as some you sort of obscene spectacle. There are markings everywhere. It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. It's a registry of births, deaths, and marriages in Innsmouth. It's the coffin of Tom Pickett, who died in 1837, aged 49. In the clippings, the year 1846 has been circled several times. A small stone plaque engraved with a series of numbers. The postcard fits exactly over the plaque. I can see some of the numbers. Yes, yes, that's it. I've cracked it. The safe holds a stone cross. There's a small stone disc here, hollowed out with the car picking up an upside down cross.
Do you want to die? Mommy, hurt me. Don't hurt me. I'm scared. Hello, Jack. Mackie, have you been tailing me? You could say that. Drop me a line next time you're planning on taking the stealthy approach. I'll watch and take notes. Funny. I don't get it, Mackie. What's your angle on all of this? I already told you. I work for the government. I've got friends at the top. Friends who've invested a lot of time and dough in Innsmouth. They don't want to see their investigation set back by some private op turning up the heat with some mindless caper. If you mean the Burnham boy, they're gonna kill him, Mackie. You know it and I know it. I can't let that happen. You're not thinking of breaking him out. He's just a punk, Jack. Where's the jailhouse, Mackie? Very well. It's your funeral. The window over there to your left looks over the jail back alley. See you around, Mackie. Chief's always up there napping. Why ain't he out here with us? His time draws nigh. Martin can't shut his eyes properly no more. He'll take to the water. Then it'll be me taking charge around here, and things will be got different. Now get inside, and mind that you don't forget to bolt the door. Crowbar. That could come in handy. Who's there? I can hear you. Shh. I'm a private detective. My name's Jack Walters. I'm looking for Burnham. Look, fella, I'm Burnham. What the hell is it you want? Why did you knock off the First National and the Variety Store? What? I'm the manager of First National. Why the places where I rob my own store? They haven't even charged me with anything. Look, just clear off before you get me in trouble. If Garrison spots you, he'll scream this joint down. Garrison? Yeah, Henry Garrison. He's the crazy fella in the next cell. Whenever he throws a fit, one of Mart's mob are all over this alley like a rash. Especially tonight. They seem incredibly twitchy, much more than usual. Hey. Uh, I see your eyes at the window, hiding in the blackness. <laughs> Back here would be a great hiding spot. Start your trap in there. Please, no. 
something outside must have set him crazy. I suppose I'd better check it out. He'll be back at any moment. Hide! I, uh... Dig Hide, you fool! Quickly! I, uh, Hydra! There ain't nothing here. And Ham! This ain't right. <laughs> a pistol and a shotgun, at last. A police whistle. Hmm, could prove useful. Scratch it, yes, scratch it. Please stop mocking me. Don't let him get away. Mock everywhere! The keys to the cells. Now I can free Brian. in the walls. I hear them. <laughs> so very tasty. It's unlocked. It's Thomas Waits. Ramona's death must have driven him to cutting his own throat. This doll, it must be Ramona's. He's crazy. I, will not I don't do think it would be the sharpest plan to let him out. Never! Behind you, fool! The abomination. Henry! Henry! They called Ruth me. Billingham gave me this. My father called me Henry. What? My this is the photograph father. I gave her before. No, not oh, him. damn. No. I've been so afraid. I, uh, I uh, trust you, Jack. I, uh, and so do I. But please, hurry and get this door open. It's unlocked. The garage on the main street holds an old automobile. It should be able to get us clear of town. Should be able to? If we could just make it through the patrols. Lead the way, Jack. Bravo, Jack. Congratulations on your new promotion to Innsmouth's enemy number one. Shut your trap, Maggie. You're not a factory inspector. Who do you work for? Okay, detective. I'll come clean. I'm an undercover agent for the United States Treasury Department. We've been working closely with the FBI on a secret investigation of Innsmouth. I'm the inside man. Really? What have you been able to find out? The Innsmouth look, Jack. It's at the heart of the problems in this town. More than half the population must be infected by now. The spreading of that contagion, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is the key. I just know it. This is all very interesting, fellas, but we gotta get out of Innsmouth with Ruth. She's waiting for us at some old fishing cannery, just past the station to Rowley. Listen, Jack, there are some agents watching the road not far past that spot. If you can make it there, you'll be safely picked up. I need you to do something for me. You can do it while I get this thing started. When they arrested me, they took a brooch I was carrying. It belonged to Ruth. It carries her picture inside. I won't leave it behind. Are you crazy? We don't have time for this. They'll be holding it in the jail office safe. I don't know the combination. I overheard Ropes talking to one of the other guards. He said something about an important date, and someone called Captain Obed Marsh. If you want to get in through the back door, just knock, and I'll open it for you. This must be Ruth's brooch. Here it is. Thanks, Jack. Ruth would have been heartbroken if I'd lost it. 
I'll be done in just a second. Hold on. I'm finished. Get in the back. I know the way. Jack, I think I saw some ammo in the back of the truck. We'll need it. Get us out of here. Hold on, Jack. To what? Whoa! Get ready, Jack. I see him. Step on him. with the order. Just find Rue. I'll meet you at the other side. Come on, Rue. Hurry the hell up. There's a bridge out of town not far from here. Just hold on. Did I ask for your damn opinion? Remember who funds this damn nuthouse. Very well. He's awake. Ah, Mr. Walters. Our friends in the Boston PD hold you up as quite the hero. Before you went all screwy, that is. I don't like heroes, Mr. Walters. And I don't care for your opinions, whoever the hell you are. J. Edgar Hoover, from the Bureau. And considering your position, Mr. Walters, you best mind your manners. Now, what was your business in Innsmouth? Just stopping in on some broad. I was feeling down on my luck. Needed the company. Ah, bullshit. There are only two types of folks that visit Innsmouth. Criminals and fools. And you don't seem like a fool. Appearances can be deceptive. I see. Dr. Hardstrom, if you'd be so kind.
Wake him up. Just charge me with something, cause I don't know nothing. This is not gonna stop, Mr. Walters, so you may as well level with me. I already told you. It was nothing. A missing person case, and I needed the dough. I was only checked in for one night, and I had to blow the joint in the early hours. Seems the locals didn't take kindly to my snooping. For Christ's sake, Walters! Is it normal in your line of work to break a punk out of the can, and breeze out of town in a stolen car? Only on the good days. But not normally, no. I've had a shitty night, Hoover, so I'd really appreciate you cutting me some slack. What's the Bureau's beef with Innsmouth, anyway? Widespread criminal activity, Mr. Walters. And half the damn town's involved. Our government's never had to handle something on this scale before. But they won't sanction a full-scale operation without more evidence. Well, I appreciate the bedtime story. I don't see where I come into this. Thanks to your meddling, Mackie's gone missing. And he was close to something. Something we could use. Missing? What do you mean, missing? He was supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target? The Marsh Refinery. <clears throat> I'm not your lapdog, Hoover. I don't work for the Bureau. I'm not in the business of making requests, Mr. Walters. Or have you forgotten your past so quickly? A signature here, a signature there, and we can make you a permanent fixture of this delightful establishment. I could even arrange for you to have your old room back. Fuck you. Good night, Mr. Walters. Pleasant dreams. Walters, your profile shows that you're a man to be trusted, even allowing for your stint in the nuthouse. I packed you with armaments. I demand your complete cooperation. Our reconnaissance reports have confirmed Sebastian Marsh, the manager of the refinery, will be out of town on business. He's left his son Jacob in charge of operations. We won't get a better chance to launch this raid. Our mission is to capture Jacob Marsh. He may be our only chance to get under the skin of the Marsh family. We must secure him alive. Even with Sebastian away, we expect the refinery to be heavily guarded. I'll fill you in with more details when we have breached the main doors. Jack, you better stay in the car while my agents secure the entrance. Get in your positions, agents! Keep sight of the loading bay! On the roof! Sustain your fire! Take them down! Hold your fire! Cooper! Get those damn doors open! Wait! Cooper! 
Take cover. Get clear of the car, Jack. Now. Shot. For God's sake, Hoover, get your men out of there. They're city ducks. Nonsense. We'll lay down some covering fire. You get your ass up there and show us what you can do. What? You heard me. Now go! Hold your positions, agents! You tucked in too tight! I can't hit him from here! down. The area is clear. It's a floor-mounted automatic rifle. It's securely mounted to the floor. I won't be able to take it with me. Well done, Jack. Wait by me while my men secure the area. Check reception. It's locked, sir. Break it down, then secure the area. I want Marsh alive. Everything else is a viable target. Fall out. Understood, sir. Okay, Hoover. What's the plan? I want to know where the hell they're getting all this gold. Come on, let's take a look around. What the hell now? What the hell? <coughs> what happened down there, Agent? What are you staring at, Jack? He was just a field agent. He knew the risks. The power's been cut from the elevator. It must have been shut down from the mains. You try the next floor down. See if you can find the generator. I'll secure this floor. Certain, but that looks like the remains of Agent Nelson.
stop right there, Marsh. Goodbye, Mr. Walters. For Christ's sake! Shut it, Hoover! As for you, Mr. Walters, we've just about had enough of your meddling in Inishmouth affairs. It was my pleasure to inconvenience you, Marsh. After you've watched your copper friend here die, I'm coming after you! Shoot him! Shoot the screwy bastard! Hurry up, Jack! Quickly, Jack! No time like the present! Hurry up, Jack! Quickly, Jack! No time like the present! Hurry the hell up, Jack! We're on a time limit here! You have my full gratitude, Walters. You'd make a first-rate agent. Too bad you got that stinking attitude. A lousy night of torture can really grate on a man's mood. If your aim was as sharp as your wit, then Marsh wouldn't have gotten away. Your orders were to take him alive, not blow his brains out. That was before the crazy psychopath tried to kill me. Besides, he left his briefcase by the controls. There's probably enough evidence in there to sanction a full-scale raid. So I couldn't care less if you bring him back in small boxes. Just get the bastard. I've already done that. Hoover's rescued. Damn it. Marsh must have locked it behind him. Walters! 
You fool. You've got no idea what to the deal it was for. I want you to witness the power of the Order of Dagon. I am Dagon. I am Hara. Jack, you're not looking so good. Don't worry. It'll all be over soon. I'm gonna kill you, you creepy bastard. Yes, yes, of course you are. But let us wait till after me. Mr. Walters, I see you made it at last. Seems Marsh managed to give you the slip. Fortunately, we had him picked up as he tried to flee. The Order of Dagon will make you pay for this over. I am Cthulhu. I am Dagon. Get this ugly bastard out of my face, Agent Hopper. Yes, sir. Come on, Marsh. Move it. Hoover, you got to evacuate the building. There's something down there. All in good time. We found a key in Marsh's possession. A key he was most reluctant to give up. It must have been for the elevator panel, giving access to an additional floor at the very foundation of this refinery. All my agents are busy planting explosives to flatten this place to the ground. I want you to find a way down there and check it out. Not a chance. I already told you, there's something down there. I barely got out alive. I made it clear back at the asylum, Mr. Walters. I don't make requests. Okay. But I'll be needing another gun. I hope to God I'm wrong. But my studies over these last months tell me that's a stone carving of great Cthulhu. The gem...
staring at the statues making my head pound. Hmm, interesting. Found you. It's nice of you fellas to show up. What the hell is this place? It's some sort of shrine. Probably used by the marshes for private worship. And the oversized gargoyle? That's no gargoyle, Agent. That's Cthulhu. Fellas! This chamber's about to be buried under four floors of brick and metal. Okay, Walters. Let's get out of here before this place blows. smuggling route? Not yet. Our intelligence estimates the most likely site would be further downstream. The Monuxit is frozen over, so we should be just fine on foot. Let's get moving. Move out, Marines! Secure the area! Yes, sir! You heard the man. Move out! Hi! You take one! Parker, you cover our flank! Peeled and your weapons ready. They're all dead, aren't they? They were trapped. There was nothing anyone could have done. Damn it! I tried to tell them, but the corporal wouldn't listen. They just wanted to slaughter those... things. What's your name, soldier? Private Parker. Private Joe Parker. Well, Parker, it looks like you found the old smuggling entrance. The door's frozen over. I already tried to open it, but it's stuck fast. We'll have to melt the ice. You operate the flamethrower. I'll cover the door.
could have spawned such an abomination. Looks like I'm on my own again. Parker must have died in agony. His chest cavity has been spread open for feeding. A hefty chunk of dynamite. they keep the keys to the cells I don't know for sure probably somewhere up in the main hall what the blazes is going on a few hours ago the government sanctioned a full-scale operation into Innsmouth it seems you were right about the contagion I knew it why the delayed assault on the order we have to arrest Robert Marsh now they can't breach the doors anyone who gets close is driven mad the guards were discussing some mural that Robert Marsh had etched onto the main doors. They said it was powered by a sacred ceremony to the Old Ones. Whatever the hell that means. We have to stop that ceremony. Sit tight, Mackie. I'll be right back. These barrels are filled with bootleg rum. Highly flammable stuff. This fuse will only last a couple of seconds. I better find cover, and quickly. ugly stone statue. <laughs> it suits the place. The large mural is engraved with text from some ancient language. Prayer to Dagon reads, Bahuin and Kugnath, Fanu Naimna, Vunaglazai, Vunaglazana, Kulf, I a Raigazengaro, I a Dagon. Bahuin and Kugnath. Anu Nayemna, Vuna Glazai, Vuna Glazana Kulth, I a Raigazengaro, I a Dagon.
These look like the keys to the cells. Now I can free Maggie. The book contains details of a blasphemous ceremony. It's the outsider. Destroy them. That must have been Robert Marsh leading the ceremony. I'd better get after him. It's a statue of Cthulhu. It's a statue of Dagon. It's a statue of Hydra. The mural is broken. I can still make out some of the symbols. The mural is engraved with text from some ancient language. It reads, to leave the temple, bow to the deity of the order. This plinth would have held the tablets of Dagon. Marsh must have taken them with him. I can hear running water. These must be old smuggling tunnels leading out to the harbor. Jack, our friends in the FBI have been putting the screws on some of the locals. They're a crazy bunch, but all evidence points to a stronghold somewhere below Devil's Reef. Just 20 minutes ago, we lost contact with the sub that was patrolling those waters. Thank you, Officer Winter. Their last communication was just some gobbled message about an underwater city. We've got to make our way to the reef and find this stronghold. The old smuggling tunnels that lead below the seabed will be our best option. Look, I appreciate you pulling me aboard, but what you're talking about sounds like suicide. Nonsense. Lieutenant, let's plan the landing in my office. It's a good job we spotted you. The waters around these parts are no place for swimming. There's not much you can do up here, Jack. See if you can give the guard a hand on deck. Okay. I'm gonna take a break. Keep your eye out.
How you holding up, Hanson? Listen, Jack. I've been to a lot of places, and I've seen a lot of screwy shit. But there ain't nothing that's ever been standing once this baby's... What the hell was that? Johnson! Wait! Stay away from the side! Get the rifle, Jack! We're under attack! Jack, help me guard the entrance! We gotta stop the ship! Jack! 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 Emergency medical kit. I need to get this to Hanson quickly. Quick, Jack! Give it to me! Thanks, Jack. We've got to hold them off as long as we can! That was a close call. Well done, Hanson. Most of the crew are dead, Jack. Why the retreat? I don't get it either. Easy, Thompson. Thank now heavens tell you're me alive, sir. What's uh, the there's situation? There's any of the crew left, and, and it looks like some of those, those things managed to get below deck. Have you seen Captain Hurst? He's gone delirious, sir. Locked himself in his quarters. He won't answer the door to no one. With respect, sir, he's off his nut. Ugh. We need him to open the armory. Oh, 
Get inside! Run! Shut the door! Damn! I'm almost out of bullets. Gotta get below deck. Head for the armor. Mess hole's locked, sir! We'll have to head to the stern! Ah. Jack, you keep back and look after Officer Winter. I'll make sure the infirmary is clear. This Move way! It. Shut the door behind you! It's not far. Keep moving. Hurry up. We're gonna make it. Bolt the damn door, Jack. We're gonna die. We need to keep moving. That door won't hold forever. We gotta keep moving. The armory's not far. It's just through the main engine room. Wait. I'm sorry, sir. I th thought you were one of those things! No one got hurt. Just calm down. Beside the still waters, he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow Captain of death, Captain Hurst, it's I will Officer fear Winter. No evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff. It's all right now, Captain. Comfort. Everything's thou under control. The table before We're just me in the, the presence ship. of mine enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy Open the shall door. follow me all the days of my life. Captain Hurst! And it's I will Officer dwell Winter. in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Damn it! We need that armory key. We've got to find another way in. Oh! Oh! You go! I'll stay and look after him. It's the key to the armory. It's unlocked. Some sticks of dynamite, always useful.
Oh, shit! How the hell did you get in here? A small vent, a few sticks of dynamite, and a minor explosion. You idiot! Sealing the exits is the only way we've kept those damn things out! It's locked. What the hell? It switched to auxiliary power. Oh, man, there must be an engine fault. Just great. We're sitting real pretty now. You'd better go and sort it out. Lay off. Have you been hitting the pipe? You're the engineer, you sort it out. I know nothing from nothing about ship engines. No way in hell! Those bloody things are everywhere! I already tried to get the welding kit from the cargo hold. We got jumped! Jesus, it was so fast! Only me and Paul got out alive! We had to lock Barry down there with... Take these keys. With the welding kit, at least we could seal these doors, you know, give ourselves a bit more time. Thank goodness you're back. Give me that! We've got to seal the doors! There have been noises at the other entrance. They're trying to break in. Damn it! Do something! Come on, Roy. They're dead. I'm not moving.
moved on land, we would track them by the strange footprints they left in their wake, consisting of five circular toe marks. They were blind, yet had exceptional sensitivity to both motion and sound. In battle, these creatures could harness the power of the winds with terrifying precision. It wasn't until the great energy weapon was developed that we had the means to fight their evil. Then we were able to drive them down deep into the catacombs beneath their basalt towers, sealing all routes with impenetrable trap doors. I better watch my step. These shackles would have been used to chain people to the rocks. This jetty must have been where they carried out the sacrifices to Dagon. A strangely carved disc. He got something that wasn't that Out the other side of the devil.
there is a disc missing from the engraving. It seems to depict the summoning of the fishmen by the casting of discs into the ocean waves. It depicts the fishmen breeding with humans. This would have happened to those in Innsmouth that took the third oath of Dagon. An old pulley. This lever is the only object in the hoard of treasures not constructed from gold. Something's happening to me. I doubt he is the only one to have suffered sacrifice in this chamber. appears to be a map. You need to press a button to activate the sequence. I can't pick it up. The claws are locking the gem firmly in place. There's an intricate design carved into the button. It must have held some sort of decoration. some kind of timed mechanism. It's a statue of Dagon, without the missile I lodged in his face. It's a statue of Hydra. There's heavy gusts of air coming from the hole. Whew, that's one hell of a drop. I didn't hear it hit the bottom.
gotta shut down that barrier. So soon. Never mind that. Where the hell is Robert? Your brother's been leading the children in prayer with mother. We don't have time for this religious nonsense. There are troops packing the streets, and the order's been completely overrun. It won't be too long before they find out about this place. I've made certain the temple's well protected. There's plenty of men patrolling the main hallway in prison. Good. The barrier has got to hold. Keep on your guard, and check the entrance from the reef. I'm going to the lab. I'd better keep my head down. I've got a much better chance of survival if they don't know I'm here. It looks like some sort of doorway into the rock. It's written in some kind of ancient language. According to the text, the gateway can only be activated by those bearing a sacred charm and uttering an ancient chant. to our little party. Just check the guest list. I'm under the section for fellas that ain't ugly freaks. Throw our jester friend here in with the lab rats. I'll deal with him on a more intimate level later. Increase the security levels. Check the area. Make sure we're alone. <laughs> It's just an old chisel. There seems to be a sewage tunnel running below the grating. The grating is heavily rusted, but it won't budge. Yes. 
buffalo zone will ripple them then. The Cape of Divorce are shot and killed. The outsiders have not been able to rupture the barrier. Mother's song is holding. There are many joining in prayer. Excellent. Dismissed. What the hell do you think you're doing, Robert? We're in the middle of an invasion, and you've got our order singing hymns? You're a fool, Sebastian. I command the Order of Dagon, not you. The research must be protected at all costs! I've shut the lab down, Sebastian. What?! This is madness! Can't you see how far this has come?! Your trivial experiments are of no concern to me. All energies must be directed at completing the translation of the tablets. The work of my great-grandfather must be finished. Take your worthless body back to shore. You are of no further use to the Order. That's not going to happen, Robert! Looks like some kind of laboratory. Gets unlocked. I've never seen plant life like this before. They appear to be trying to cultivate new breeds of plant life. Most of these experiments seem to have been carried out on humans. This must supply power to the lights. get into the temple. Only those loyal to the order have access through the main doors. 
But there's an old passage. A passage that runs deep beneath the temple. Though I warn you now, outsider, tread cautiously. I've heard talk of ancient dwellers play in those dark depths. Any evil from a forgotten time. This just keeps getting better. So how do I get down there? Explore the abandoned areas. That is all I can tell you. Now, please, kill me and my pain. Kill me!
It's written in some kind of ancient language. These are the tablets of Dagon. This must be the original source text for Obit's translation, the Book of Dagon. I'll need to decipher it. Behuin and Kugnath, Fanu Naemna, Bagliz Kafungin, Kathavahel, Kulth Kathulu Kafungni, Ia Rigazengaro, Ia Hydra.
Kapuva Kafungni, Ia Raigazengaro, Ia Hydra. summon me. There is something I must show you. We must hurry. Time is short. Where are we going? The Great Library. A terrible conflict is upon us, and our hosts will not survive it. The keenest minds are already projecting to later days. Who will be the enemy? There have been no ructions with either the Migo in the north, or Cthulhu's kin to the south. In your wanderings, did you come upon the vast sealed trapdoors at the foundation of the old city? Yes, but I didn't understand their purpose. There was a terrible war between us and a race of half polypus creatures that had been dominant until our arrival. This volume tells of that bloody period. showing me this now. They are still down there, Jack. Thriving in the darkness. They are plotting. Plotting to break free of their bonds and wreak a terrible revenge. The end is inevitable. And close. Very close. How much time do we have? What the hell was that? You are no longer safe. Follow me. If this is the end, where am I supposed to go? It's time for you to go back. Back? Yes, back to your own time. Before you leave, there is something more you need to know. What is this place? The human mind is too delicate a fabric for the return displacement. It could easily tear. Your memories of Nakotas must be clean. Will I remember nothing of this place? Six years of my life, and for nothing? When the time comes, you will remember. We will be waiting in the shadows of your dreams. These riddles make no sense. What was it I needed to know? Did you ever wonder about your visions? Nightmares. It came with the territory. Sometimes it helped with the cases. Bad dreams are never that accurate. You are different from the rest of your race, Jack. Your father could see it. Suicide was his escape from the truth. 
What's this got to do with him? He has been here too. He was displaced. Just moments before you were conceived. I was the transferred mind. What are you saying? That you are my father? Not entirely. You are not of our kind. But neither are you completely human. Mr. Walters? Mr. Walters! Can you hear me? Mr. Walters? He's convulsing. We're losing him. Boop, 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 boop,